Well, good morning, everyone. I just wanted to share some uh, thoughts this morning from our recommended scripture readings uh, for this week. They were in the bulletin yesterday. You can find them uh, in the bulletin on our website, livingwf.org. Uh, I don't know if you've if you've noticed, but the spirit and the tone of our age is one in which there are uh, only two possible positions on every issue. We know that that's not true in reality, but that's sort of the posture of, of our of our age. And we've created a culture in which if you don't see the world like I do, or if you don't approach an issue like I do, then uh, we're trained to think that you're the enemy. Uh, I think that social media and cable news have caused us to see so many important and, and challenging issues in just two dimensions, sort of robbing our conversations of the depth and the texture that so many of these issues have. And one of the things that, that grieves me the most is uh, when I hear the, the voice of Christians, so many in the church ha have just adopted the arrogant, demeaning, divisive tone and vocabulary of the, the, the TV or talk radio host that they prefer. Arrogant, demeaning, divisive. But, but here's the problem. If we believe what the Bible says, that, that can never be our approach. Our scripture readings uh, this week uh, speak to this issue for, from the reading in 2 Samuel 22. Uh, listen to this. 2 Samuel 22 says, You save a humble people, but your eyes are on the haughty and bring them down. And then from 1 Corinthians 10, it, it says, Therefore, it, it, it let anyone who thinks that he stands take heed lest he fall. You see, what we discover in Scripture is that the way of Christ is the way of humility. Proverbs says, a gentle answer turns away wrath. 1 Peter 3 says, always be ready to, to give an answer for the hope that you have. But Peter says, respond with, and then he uses these two words, gentleness and respect. I think that this conversation for Christians comes back to a simple question. Which of our citizenships is primary and defining. Are, are we citizens of this country here and now, first and foremost? Are, are the political and cultural affairs and, and battles of today the most important thing? Or is our citizenship in heaven? Does that define everything that we do and how we see our neighbors and how we engage in important discussions? Do you see yourself as an American who happens to go to church? Or do you see yourself as a child of God, sent, commissioned, as an ambassador of your true home, the king, kingdom of heaven, for, for, for this time and, and for this place? Really, the question is, whose marching orders do we follow? This world with its arrogance and cockiness and harsh arguments and, and disrespect, or the kingdom of God in the way of a, of a hum, humble a gentle, self-sacrificing Savior. Let, let's be the humble people that we hear of in 2 Samuel. Because we know why we're here. We know that our true home is somewhere else, that we're pilgrims here today. So, so grace and peace to you all this week.